How's it going everybody? Hudson here, back with another at-home dumbbell workout for you. Now today we have an upper body style workout and all you're going to need is a single dumbbell as well as an elevated surface you, you'd be able to do dips on in just a little bit. Now what today's workout is a Tabata style workout. What Tabata is, it's 8 rounds of 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. But we're going to combine 4 Tabatas. We have 4 different exercises we're going to work through. So it's going to be a total of 16 minutes today. Now, before we get started, check the description down below for two things. One, our warm-up playlist where we have an upper body warm routine you guys can follow along to to make sure your body is prepped before you start this workout. And secondly, if you want daily dumbbell programming just like this that includes warm-ups, access to a coach, me, post-workout stretches, extra credit work, and more, check out the link down below as well and sign up for that. It's currently on sale, so make sure you act fast before the price goes up. Now, snag your dumbbell, get next to that elevated surface, grab some water, and we're gonna get started. All right, you guys, get ready. The very first exercise we have is a two-armed bicep curl. Starting in two, one, raise that dumbbell, squeeze the bicep tight, come down nice and slow until you tap that weight on your thighs, and then go right into the next rep. It's only 20 seconds of work, so we're gonna try to move the whole 20 seconds. And then we get that 10 second rest which doesn't feel like much of a rest. Two, one, and rest. Now, the next one we have are bench dips. So if you have an elevated surface, place your hands on the edge. You can go flat footed if you're gonna struggle with these, or if you're pretty proficient, you can straighten the legs, and we're up. Make sure you only go as low as you can to where it feels okay on your shoulders, and then squeeze your triceps hard at the top. Two, one, and rest. All right, for our third exercise, we have bent over rows. So holding that weight just like we did for the curls, pushing the butt back, and pull it towards your belly button, slow coming down. Do a quick one second pause at the top of each rep. Really focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together and opening your chest to the top. You don't want to pull and then hunch over like this. You want to pull and keep your back tight. And rest. Lastly, we have push-ups. You have three options. You can do knee push-ups, you can do regular push-ups, or feet elevated push-ups. So I'm going to start there and see how it goes. And we're up. And rest, that's one round. We got seven more of those. Get ready, going back to curls. Two, one, and we're curling. Really squeeze the top and keep it controlled going down. Make sure you're not letting that weight just drop. Keep your arms under constant tension. And rest. Going back to dips. In three, two, one, and go. Those dips really burn. Only go as low on the dips that your shoulders will allow. Don't go so low, your shoulders start to feel a little weird. And rows. A lot of transitions today, a lot of fast, fast back and forth. Not much rest, even though a third of the time technically we're resting. Squeeze that back tight. And rest. Get ready for push-ups. Three, two, one, and go. Walk out those arms at the top, just like those bench dips. And rest. Woo. 
two rounds down. Whew. Getting a lot of work in today. A lot of work in a short period. And curls. I think curls are the easiest part. Everything else burns pretty good. Let me know if curls are the easiest part for you. Whew. Rest. Three, two, one, and go. If you need to shorten that range of motion on the dips, that's okay. Don't go quite as low, but still squeeze those arms to the top. Three, two, one, rest. I think dips are the hardest for me. Get ready for those rows. Three, two, one, rows. Squeeze your entire back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your sides in really tight so you're getting your lats. Two, one, rest. Woo. Going back to those push-ups. So we're going by quick. Two, one, and go. Every time we come back to the same exercise, I try to hit the same rep scheme that I did last time. So keep count, let's see if you can be consistent each round. Keep those elbows close to your sides. Make sure you're not raising your elbows up too high. Two, one, rest. Woo. Starting to get sweaty. 10 seconds of rest is pretty much nothing. Might as well just keep going. One, and rest. We got a ways to go still. Three, two, one, and go. Muscles are feeling pumped up. Again, give me a one second pause at the top of those rows. Squeeze everything tight. And rest. Whew. Get ready for push-ups. Two, one, and go. Whew. All right, guys, four rounds done, four more to go. Three, two, one, and curls. Rest, dips. Now the sweat's really pouring. Oh. Two, one, and go. If you gotta slow down those reps and take a little bit of pause in between, that's okay. As long as you keep slowly chipping away. And rest. Whew. 
Oh, arms are dying. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Five rounds down. Two, one. Oh, wait a minute, I skipped my rows. I, don't do what I did, I skipped my rows. I was wondering why those push-ups were so hard. I just did dips before them. All right, now we're done with that round. All right, now I'm back on track. Do as I say, not as I do. And curls. I'm on track now. I'm getting a little delirious, but I can do it. Rest. All right, rows, not push-ups. Rows are next. Two, one, and go. Get it right, get it tight, squeeze the top. Rest. Finishing up round six, guys. Two, one, go. Rest. All right, two more times. Hang in there, two more rounds. Two, one, and go. Dips are the worst by far. Ugh. If it gets to the point where it feels like you can't do any more reps, just hold yourself up here for 20 seconds. You don't have to go down and up, just hold yourself up. Whatever keeps you moving, or keeps you working really, and rest. Ugh. Shake that, shake that. Three, two, one, go. Open your chest to the top. Don't keep your chest closed off. Open the chest, squeeze the back. <laughs> Rest. So close, everybody. Three, two, one, and go. Rest. One more of each. 
One more of each. Let's bring it home. Three, two, one, and go. Rest. Yeah, curls by far the easiest part for me. Two, one. These dips, not so much. Rest. Last minute. Two, one. Stick to that one second pause at the top. Don't rush them. And rest. All right. Whew. Last one. Three, two, one, go. Two, one. Time. Woo. Nice work, everyone. Awesome job on that workout today, team. That was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. 20 seconds felt like forever, and then 10 seconds went by in the blink of an eye. Again, if you guys want daily structured programming like this every single day of the week, along with me to help guide you through the process to help you gain strength, lose weight, and overall become that much fitter, check out the link down below for more information as well as getting signed up at our current sales price. Otherwise, be sure to check out our follow along stretch routine playlist to make sure you're nice and limber and loosened up after all those reps we did in that workout. Or if you want to do another follow along at home workout, check out our playlist down here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this, as well as check out the links down below for discounts on our favorite fitness products, as well as our merch. Thanks so much for joining me on today's workout, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.